All right, coming up next, it's a Bantamweight matchup between Eddie Wineland and Sean O'Malley. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. And now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Sugar Sean. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 24 wins, 14 losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Chesterton, Indiana, Eddie Wildland! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway. And it's going to be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. A definite striker on one side against another guy who's really good. Well. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. He is going after that overhand right. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Nice stick with the right hand. Kick to the head. Oh! Three minutes remain in the round. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes. 
goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. O'Malley's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him drive his shin into his whole body with that body kick. Nice stick with the right hand. Powerful leg kick lands. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And there comes the separation now. The right hand just misses. Ooh, what a punch. Hands high, hands high. Looks like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by O'Malley. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Nice stick with the right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice punch there by Eddie Wineland. Take us through some replays, Chad. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. Nice. That was perfect. Good round. He's rocked. He's still rocked, all right? He's ready to be finished in this next one, all right? All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Hook shot there, looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Nice. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. All right, single collar tie now. O'Malley's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Good. 
Final seconds here. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. More than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Five minutes remain in the fight. Well, oh, just as he did the call. Newsberg, serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice high kick. Not there. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Straight punch lands. Sure, his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice stick with the right hand. And they clinch. He's hurt. He's hurt. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Great punch. Flips the punch. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. That shot blocked by Eddie Wyman. Over and over, he landed. Oh, oh and one shot on his head still attached to his body. The last number of the that Just can't take it clean. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Eddie Wan. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. One minute to decide this one. Good work from the top here by O'Malley. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Sugar Sean O'Malley! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.